Hello all, welcome to Sri Preeti classes. Today we are going to start a new course which is Learn Angular from Basic to Advanced. And our first lecture is going to be Introduction to Angular. Now before we start learning about Angular, I would like to tell you that don't get confused with AngularJS. AngularJS is a different thing and Angular is a different thing. Now I will tell you the difference about Angular and AngularJS. AngularJS is written in JavaScript while Angular was written in TypeScript and it is a complete rewrite from AngularJS. It came after AngularJS was updated to Angular 2 plus and then since then we are calling Angular 2 plus as Angular only because there is a complete different architecture. I mean they both follow MVC architecture, model view controller architecture but things are different in AngularJS and things are different in Angular. So if you have worked in AngularJS, it is easier for you to work in Angular but things will be different. You have to learn new things in Angular. And if you have not learned in any thing, I mean any language, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, jQuery, anything, if you have never learned it, don't worry. We will cover everything in our future classes. So there are many versions of Angular. Now AngularJS was introduced in 2010 while Angular came in 2016 and since then many of Angular versions came in every six months after its release. So you can find that currently there are like Angular 10 is available. So from Angular 2 to Angular 10 in every six months you can see there are some versions released and in every version they have upgraded Angular. Now upgrading Angular does not mean upgrading AngularJS. As I said Angular is a different thing and Angular is a different thing. So if you are upgrading Angular 2 to Angular 4, you don't have to worry a lot because it's easy to upgrade from Angular 2 to Angular 4. Now you will get confused where is Angular 3. So when they were planning the team which is handling Angular, the Google team, they actually were trying to cover up all the packages, all the libraries that they have created and in the version 3 they have found that Angular's 4 releases versions libraries are also available in, in Angular 3 release so they thought let put it at Angular 4 because if they are going to release Angular 3 that they will also release the libraries which are included which are supposed to come in Angular 4 so they skipped Angular 3 and they started with Angular 4 and after, since then come up with new releases so from September 2016 to current date, there are many versions of Angular. If we go to its official site, then we can uh, see that it follows a semantic versioning, where uh, you could see that here 7 is the major version, 2 is the minor version and 11 is the patch release. So in major release uh, you could say like angular 7 is a major release but it will have some minor fixes uh, required so they will give a minor release 7.2 and if suppose they will have a few bugs still pending for that release so they will get 7.2.1 2.2 and so on and here you can see that uh, the versions and you don't have to worry if you are starting from Angular 2 or Angular 4 or Angular 5, the basic remains same. It's only few things are added in every release and they update it from better functionality for easy coding. And like you will say why why there was a need of Angular 2 and completely new rewrite was there, why there was a requirement of that. So I worked in AngularJS and it's very very good to work in AngularJS, very easy to work. It's a completely I mean I could say a very good thing that you have working in it and you will get your functionality easily you can reuse the code as well however like I said AngularJS was written in JavaScript so in JavaScript you have this prototypal inheritance and in TypeScript you could use classes you could use interfaces so it's easy to reuse the code in TypeScript now many of you will get confused what is TypeScript and what is JavaScript so I will explain in the later classes for now you can understand that TypeScript is a 
superset of JavaScript, ECMAScript 2015. And currently, we have ECMAScript 2019-2020. And TypeScript is a version which you could say is a superset of ECMAScript 2015. So, here new things were introduced and uh, a complete uh, new uh, architecture was developed. However, it was very much similar to AngularJS one, uh, but few many uh, new things were added, and it make easier to code. It makes easier to make to create uh, uh, web applications. Uh, if you want to see uh, learn from its official website, so Angular's official website is Angular.io, and if you want to learn AngularJS, so you could go to AngularJS.org. Now we should proceed to know what is Angular and if you go to this official website you will know that Angular is an application design framework and a development platform to create single page applications. So many of you will get to confuse that uh, what is an application design framework and then what is a development platform and what is a single page application. So let's proceed with application design framework. So if you if you know there are like many frameworks available like .NET, INIC, and uh, like uh, Angular itself is a framework. So every framework is a collection of program that helps you build an application, and uh, it has you know it is built on the top of a programming language, and it has multiple libraries in it which we use to create our uh, application. So Angular is a kind of a web application, I mean web web framework where, which helps us to create web application. So like if you go to Spring and uh, there you will find that you can create a different type of applications and uh, that would be a web application when you will create from Spring and if you if you start creating uh, let's say if you want to create an android app uh, so you could use ionic as a framework and angular as a implemented with it and you can create uh, android ios and your web application as well even if, if you want to create a desktop application you can create it with ionic so every framework provides you different functionality so angular is an open source cross platform web or front end framework Let's create an application using only HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This will help us understand that even without framework we can create a web application. Create a single page, single HTML page that we have created in text.html. Here you can see nothing here and uh, I'll show you an example like here we have Google here. So. If you see we have these tags in it HTML body head and if we open head we will see there are some links these are purely CSS links which it is using uh, they are nothing they are just you could if you go and uh, search right now we may not be able to see uh, what is inside it but if we uh, have the link uh, then we can see that there are styles available and uh, so we have this meta object as well and uh, which contains the metadata this meta tag uh, of this uh, page so uh, if you don't understand what is the what are this link and metadata don't worry we will we will cover it when we will start uh, creating the uh, angular application so it's just to let you know that uh, even without a framework, we can create an, uh, a website and uh, we will create using this index.html. So you can download uh, uh, this Atom editor and uh, we, we can start working on it. So just to give you an idea how uh, how application uh, will be created. So it uses the HTML tags, it uses the CSS, it also uses some scripts like uh, the for functionality. and. Uh, these JS files contains the, the functionality that will be required here. Like it is a search engine, so it will require to call the, some server and uh, 
it will also need some things in this page which will be which are, must be coming from these links and uh, we have this body and multiple divs are available and uh, it has id some of them will have class so the, these what are they, they you will understand if you know it it is good if you don't know it don't worry we will we will cover this in later classes so here i have created this one page uh, of google and i will show you its uh, code here so no i am not create i have not created it using angular but i am just showing it that we can create uh, a web page using just html css but this is for a small purpose pages is enough it is okay but for why are we using frameworks like angular because we have to work in companies we have to work in big projects and we have to maintain the code quality we have to maintain everything we have, I, mean, I mean not only one person is going to work in a single project multiple peoples will be working and will be creating a i mean lack of codes um, I mean in billions of codes, uh, millions of lines of codes. So uh, in that case, it becomes so, so tough to maintain the code. And uh, <coughs> you can see that uh, it's just one page that I have written and all of these things I have written inside this page, index.html. And uh, I have not used the doc type. Doc type is especially to uh, I mean, tell the browser which version of HTML I'm using, but here it is, com I mean, I'm using Chrome, so it is taking the default HTML5. Inside HTML, you can see I'm, I've used head, uh, I've given it title as Sri Preeti, but I can change it. Uh, let's make it Google itself. I hope it will change. You can see it has changed. And inside style tag i have given these two classes i've used uh, flexbox i will tell you what is this we will learn the basic css the basic html that we need to learn for angular in our, in our future classes so don't worry about if you're not able to understand uh, let let me clear this border it does not look very good so yeah <coughs> And uh, you can see inside head, I have not used any script tag. I have not used any link of CSS. And uh, we are, this is a simple, simple application, simple page. I've used one container inside this container. I've created one logo box. You can give it any name you want. You can give it ABCD. You can give it XYZ, anything. But the name should be relevant. It will it should help the next developer who is going to work after you on that project or even for you it would be easier to understand uh, what thing that you have created here and you should even write in comments that what you have created it is a good practice so like here you could see i have created a container i have removed the border from it but you can see uh, how much space it is taking and uh, inside this logo box you can see i have uh, i mean embedded this image and this input tag and i have not given it any functionality i have just written it to tell you how we can just write the uh, html page or a web page we can even deploy it in a server and if we have all these functionalities like google we, we it, it could run like a, a google search engine but <coughs> It is, it is a simple page so we don't have to work so much in in this single uh, html page uh, and we don't need a lot of script and links currently right now in, in this page but for larger applications we need a framework we need to work on big projects and, and there we need libraries inbuilt functions that we can use very easily that will help us make our work even faster but before that we should know the basics because if we know the basics we can work in any framework not only angular or we can work in ionic we can work in even uh, flutter or any other um, 
framework that we, we know. So we should know the basics. We can even work in uh, React as well. It is not a framework, but we can work in that as well. Because everything uh, is now a JavaScript based uh, framework or libraries. So it helps us to work in uh, their, uh, their uh, framework or uh, their whatever it is. So it helps us. So you should know uh, basics like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And uh, if you know them, you can work in any um, web framework. Okay, that's it. So let's understand what is a development platform. So with platform, we can understand that it provides something, some development uh, uh, some development environment so in easy words it is a environment which helps us in developing uh, softwares for different different kind of platforms like here we have iOS so if you want to create a application for iOS then you you should have that environment and for Windows as well for Linux as well for Android as well so Angular provides you this development platform where you can create an application which will run in every different I mean every other kind of different platforms and even not different kind of operating systems it will work in different kind of hardware as well uh, it will be easier to work uh, I mean run uh, these applications in uh, mobile phones tablets and uh, desktops as well laptops so uh, this is a development platform now uh, one more thing is will come in your mind what is a single page application so like recently we have created one index.html page where we have created this replica of google's first uh, intro page where we write about whatever we want to uh, search right so uh, like if you want to uh, go from that page to another page well you click on search you will go to another page so that will be a different html page so from there to there uh, from search engine uh, page to where you will get the result you will have multiple pages but in single page application you will have only one page where you will have this page and inside you will have like this header this side menu this body uh, these modules or inside them you will have components so everything will be inside only one page that is index.html or uh, like index.html is a standard that we use we can give it any name but we have to provide this information inside our application that what will be the initial page that will that we will load so in, so uh, we are not going to work on industrial HTML very much we are going to work on modules and components and we are going to create a lot of things so let's let's know what what things we are going to work on so now let's understand what we are going to learn in our next lectures so first of all uh, in the next lecture we will set up all the things and we will uh, create one uh, dummy angular applications but what we are going to learn further uh, we should know so we will learn about modules and uh, we will create modules we will know why modules are important and why we need to uh, create modules why this module approach is important like i said angular is a uh, mvc structure we use model view controller so we will have components inside which we will have our html page css page and ts file and spec.ts file as well which is going to help us for our unit test cases so uh, inside modules we will have our components and uh, we will have our directives we will have our services forms uh, in forms we will learn how to create forms uh, reactive forms or template driven forms we will know the difference and we will go uh, from basic we will go to the advanced level we will learn how to create the pipes which will help us filtering 
we will know how we can use the models uh, where we can store some uh, standard interfaces or some data and we will know how we will uh, bind the data we will know how to uh, inject the dependencies we will know how to route between pages how to send the request using http request how to get the request I and mean response and uh, other things we will know uh, how we are going to use subjects how we are going to use observables and how we are going to work on unit testing so all these things we will cover apart from uh, that we will cover html css and type script along with this and uh, we will also learn how to use these third party libraries which will uh, be like like load edge for uh, functionality and uh, uh, bootstrap or angular material so we will we will use angular material and we will use bootstrap both uh, to learn how these uh, third party libraries will help us and we will uh, learn how can we uh, use other third party libraries if we ever need to do we will also learn debugging which i have not mentioned it uh, over here but we are going to learn debugging uh, which is a very important part uh, before without that i don't think uh, it would be easier to become a front-end developer and uh, for that we will use chrome browser 